basic information. I am 31, in a relationship, a Scorpio, a red lunar serpent, an architect, an actor, a director. Uh, I love an architect. I used to help my dad, you know, improve his blueprints by talking to him. Anyway, um, what else do I do? I, I decided recently I'm no longer a rational person. I'm just going to be a creative person. I'm left-handed, and I always felt my left brain is stronger, so I'm just going with it. I'm even going to maybe play some guitar left-handed. Okay, anyway, uh, moving on. I was head of debating in high school. I was short. I had a funny puberty. I had a high voice, and I was only about five foot six or seven for a long time until I was like 16 or 17, and then I had my growth spurts when I was like 17, 19, 20, and I even grew like another inch until I was 22. Okay, so, uh, funny me. I got called the pervert. I think it did stuff to my DNA. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, no, no, hard, uh, no hard times. It's all good. It's all love. It's all love. Miss my friends from grade school. Miss my friends from kindergarten. Don't even remember who most of my friends from kindergarten are. You know, I have that photograph locked away somewhere. My mom wrote everybody's name on the back, or the teacher did. Maybe teachers did nice things like that in those days. Anyway, um, speaking of teachers, Obama said we should give teachers a fair shake and invest in uh, the, the respect for teachers a little bit more. Well, you know, I think part of respecting teachers a little bit more, like Americans like to respect their doctors and their lawyers and their other high-status, uh, non-governmental, non-military, non-corporate citizens. Uh, why don't they give teachers like a one-time once in 20 year, once in 25 year, why don't they just give teachers like a 50% pay raise all across the nation in every state? You know, just to show us that uh, these are hard times and the rich, you know, private sector stuff really does do stuff, charity really does do stuff, and let's see all those church groups and those fundamentalist groups and those polygamous sects and everybody come together and donate to your local uh, school board so that we can... Uh, you know, increase the pension fund or increase the salary of teen of teachers for the next 10 or 15 years by 50 percent, and uh, we'll see if we get out of the recession and can actually make it into a government policy. So, uh, I study politics. I thought about being a diplomat. I thought about international relations, but I liked culture more. I'm not. I'm not good at economics. I kind of gave up on math in grade 11. I made it through calculus, but I got 51 percent. Um. Don't expect to get higher than mid-70s, uh, and no, <laughs> at least expect a few 63s uh, while you're in undergraduate studies, no matter where you are. Uh, you know, um, life ain't easy, you have to earn it. A cat just meowed outside, and now the police drove by, so you tell me what you think. Oh, there's another cop car. Must be something going on, the cat knows that I don't. Okay, well anyway, kooky Canada up here, uh, thinking a lot about where Mullah Omar is these days. Don't hear much about Mullah Omar anymore. Um, would like to see John Walker Lind released, Obama. Why don't you pardon John Walker Lind? You know, there's a guy who was trying to be bipartisan in an interfaith way, you know, so why don't you pardon John Walker Lind now? Don't worry about Omar Khadr, you know, he's, he'll be fine. But uh, why don't you, you know, everyone's upset about him here in Canada, and I guess I am too. But uh, please pardon John Walker Lind. He didn't do anything. He probably didn't even try to put up a fight. He was just trying not to betray his friends that he'd made, you know. Give the guy a break.